So welcome to the fourth notebook of this Genetta GT5 Junior season. A uh, very interesting round four done at Dubai. And at night time so which made it even more sinister if you like, uh, between everything. So definitely one to remember new faces coming into the championship, hoping to make a mark. So let's get into it then. Race one, five laps around the Dubai International Circuit. Not an easy thing to do at night time, not really. Uh, then you could qualify at 10 minutes. Um, quite frankly, r ridiculously difficult. But in the qualifying, Boyraxa did take pole position from Adam Morris, Gaz, AMH, Radovan, Jamie F430, RS Jim. Uh, Fraser in 8th, Sandwalk 3 ninth, 9th, Prosser, NGR Prosser was 10th, Afkate was 11th, uh, Yorkshire Stig 12th, Shadowstalk DBS was 13th, Cotton Market 14th, Shockshaft was 15th, with Rocket JP uh, actually disconnecting before uh, the start for the end of qualifying, which meant he didn't take part in the race. So you're off the line, and we were down to 12 cars before we even crossed the line for the first time. We had lost Sandwalk 3, Afcape and NGR Prosser all to disconnects. So it was a sh definitely a uh, smaller grid. But a great start from Boyrax on lap 1. Saw him get in the lead and stay there going into turn 1. Gaza ended up passing out of Mars position 2 uh, going into turn 1. And then AMH passed the pair of them to go into the runners-up spot. And then as you go in through the lap, Gaz immediately retaliated at turn 4. He then re-overtook AMH, and AMH made a slight mistake. And he went down to 5th, so uh, definitely tight pack racing. Uh, Adam then passed Gaz at turn 1, and that ended up being for P4. Because obviously he had a bit of a really tight pack, all the position is really, really changing. Uh, Radovan ended up passing Irish Jim at turn 9 for 6th place. So you can already tell the racing was absolutely fantastic on lap number 1. On to lap number 2, and AMH got up into 3rd place at turn 1, Radovan up to 4th, Jamie 430 went down into 7th in, uh, in that one. Into lap 3, uh, Adam overtook Yorkshire Stig at the first corner for position 8. Yep, Adam had a little bit of a kerfuffle. Uh, he ended up down quite a fair way down the grid. Actually, uh, Radovan ended up passing Jim for 4th place at turn 2, with Jamie passing Fraser for 6th at turn 6. Really, really good move through turn 6, actually, around the outside. Adam then overtook Fraser on 4th place. Uh, for 7th, and then into turn number 5, Radovan and Jim collided, coll Jim went down the inside of Radovan, looks like he just went a bit too deep, Radovan didn't expect it, tried to cut back and re-overtake him, it didn't quite work, um, it meant that Jim got spun around in front of the pack, um, and then from there, loads of people spun out, coming out of turn 5 on the exit, AMH spun it, Jamie spun it, Fraser spun it, and he spun it again trying to come back on the circuit. Absolute carnage. On to lap 5 then. And Fraser then overtook Shockshaft at turn 5. And then he spun on the exit. So he briefly got up to position 8 and then spun, um, spun the exit, which is very interesting. Boyeraxa came home to take the win. A really, really good drive from start to finish, really. Gaza ended up second with Ray Devon third. Adam Morris fourth, Jamie fifth, AMH sixth. Yorkshire Stig was seventh, Shockshaft eighth. RS Jim was ninth, Fraser tenth, after he spun it. Uh, Shadow Stalker eleventh, a really good result for him, actually, good points. Uh, and Cop Marker on his debut, getting twelfth place. Into the second race then, AMH qualified on pole, because he didn't 
getting that elusive top five. Jim was second, Sandwalk three third, Fraser fourth, Shockshaft fifth, uh, NGR Prosser was sixth, the Rocket JP seventh, Afcape was eighth, Cop Marco ninth, Shadow Stalker was tenth, Yorkshire Stig eleventh, Gazza, Adam Morris, Boy Raxa, Ray Devan, and Jamie all didn't qualify as they were in that top five. And we got off the line and at AMH a cracking start going off the line and we almost went full wide into turn one it was ridiculous um point Raxa went from 14th to 10th in one corner um and then there was a bit of contact at turn five between various cars uh, and point Raxa found himself at the end of the lap up to position one it's a fantastic drive uh, on to lap 2, uh, Adam Morris then passed NGR Prosser for 7th place at turn 3. Some really good tight battling there. Jamie uh, then passed Prosser for 8th place at turn number 6. Again, a good move from Jamie. He really does like that at turn 6, actually. Afcape, um, we don't really know what happened. He was around backwards on the track. Uh, so we only caught the end of it. But then he went straight down the back to 16th place. Gaz then overtook Prosser for 9th place at turn 9. Adam then passed Rocket JP for position 6. And it was constant overtakes for the first 2-3 laps. It was amazing to watch. Uh, Jamie and Rocket JP had contact into turn 3. Uh, Jamie ended up going across the chicane but no real other option. And then three cars collided into turn five, and they were all very lucky to get away with it the way they did. They all drove out of the exit, but that did cost Jamie a lot of places. He went down to 11th. Gaz um, passed Rocky JP for seventh, but then Rocky JP dive bombed into dive on Gaz into turn 11, hitting him, and Gaz went around. Uh, and off the circuit, Rocket JP was facing sideways. And um, Raidavan and Jamie entered the scene and just T-boned uh, Rocket JP. There's nowhere to go. And very ambitious move at turn 11 for Rocket uh, on gas. Uh, and he continued, but Rocket JP was down to 13th. So we continue on lap number 4. Jamie and NGR Prosser made contact at turn 4. Again... Jamie being forced off in essence. Uh, Gaz was off the road and, and into P13 on lap 4. Don't really know the story behind that one. Uh, Rocket then came up to the back of Shock Shaft. It was turn number 9. And he absolutely pummels him. He just hit him square in his backside. Shock Shaft went actually flying off and spinning. He was on for a good result, really. And But Rocket JP did not even wait for him. He just carried on. So um, I think Shockshaft was very annoyed with that one. Uh, and Shockshaft was down to 15th place. Gaz ended up passing Rocket JP for 11th. And then on lap number 5, Rocket, Rocket JP tried to get back past... But he ran a bit deep and again hit Gaz at turn 1. Um, then Rocket JP lost the rear at turn 4. And which Gaz has nowhere to go and T-bones him. By this point, Boy Raxa was up to 2nd place. Phenomenal drive from the championship leader in reality. Um, Rocket JP was on his roof at turn 5. So whatever happened, he suddenly flipped the car. Um, everyone who went past him but at this point he was now a lap down now on to lap number 6 for the leaders R Rocket JP ignored the blue flags completely ignored them and he almost wiped out AMH who was leading the race he pretty much tried to defend from Boy Raxa almost wiped out the leader um, but on to lap 7 Boy Raxa was up to P1 as he passed AMH. 
good battle between the top two. It's Sandbox 3 then passed Jim for third place at turn four. He was having a really, really good race. Adam then passed Jim for position four at turn five. Um, Rocket JP was still ignoring blue flags at this point. He um, ran into Sandwalk, costing him third place to Adam Morris, who passed him. Obviously, no problems for Adam. Um, and then at turn ten on the same lap, Rocket JP and RS Jim collided, and it was a pretty big collision. So I don't know what happened. He kind of caught at the end of that one as well. Rocket JP then tried to race Raider Van, whilst AMH took P1 away from Boy Raxer at turn 8 on lap 8. Again, a really good move from AMH. And then on to lap 9, AMH and Boy Raxer went side by side from turn 10 to turn 3, and AMH only just held on to his lead. Um, Boy Raxer then leaps at AMH in the pit stop period. I mean, AMH came in on lap number 9. And on the end of lap 9, Boyrax came in on lap 10, and he just about leapfrogged him. On to lap 11 and 12, Boyrax and AMH were just battling constantly. They were nose to tail, side by side, you name it, they were there. And... On to lap 30, AMH tried rounding outside of Boyrax at turn 1, but he then ran wide. But then overtook him at turn 8 on the same lap. Boyrax then retook it at turn 9. Uh, whilst that was going on, Radovan was passing Fraser on lap 14 for 6th place at turn 5. Then on to lap 15, uh, AMH tried to get position 1 down the inside, but he went wide, so didn't quite get it. Then to lap 16, AMH spun the car at turn 5, which allowed Adam Morris to go up to position 2. Gaz then passes Radovan for 6th place at turn 7. Radovan and Jamie pass Gaz for 6th and 7th respectively at turn 5. Jamie then passes Radovan for P6 at turn 7. AMH spins again at turn 4 on lap 17. Shockshaft went up to 3rd place. It's a really good result for him to be his maiden podium, if he could hold on to it. Gaz ended up passing Radovan for 7th at turn 11. On to lap 18, and Gaz and Radovan were side by side from turn 1 to turn 4. Uh, Gaz ended up going down to position 8, with Radovan going up to position 7. Uh, Gaz's car on the straights really, really bad. On to lap 19, and Gaz was down the inside of Radovan for 7th. Um, at turn 11, uh, but again lost it going down the straight without the without top end of the car. Jamie spun to the wall at turn 4 and went down to position 8. Gaz passed Radovan at turn 5 and then he loses it. He loses the car and goes down to position 7. AMH then spun at turn 7 and went down to position 8. Uh, Gaz was up to position 5 as he passed Radovan on the final lap. Uh, and Radovan then repasses Gaz to end the night a very strong position. And so the results of that one was Boy Rax making it win 7 out of 8 races. Adam Morris second, a pretty much perfect race for Snegchuka. Sandwalk was third, and I kid you not, he was very, very happy about that. Very happy. Um, we couldn't speak to him because he didn't have a microphone. So I'll just read you his statement. Um, if I can remember where it is. Uh, where are you? There you are. So this is what... Um, he said, he said, it feels really good and overdue. The, the, the effort that went into the last eight laps or so was insane, apparently. And he's usually binning it through making a silly mistake. So he's very happy and he managed to keep it on the black stuff and get his podium. Um, other responses. 
look at JP. This was his on the night. Uh, he said he was going good for a few, few laps until he apparently got punted off. Uh, and he was last for the rest of race two. Um, he rated it a nine though, so good rating. Um, he enjoys Azio circuit, which is the next uh, race at Monte Carlo. And his expectations, he's not sure for round number five. Afcape uh, said he's going bad at the, uh, he bad at the moment. Um, he's not in that good a swing in the GT5 at the moment. And he says the incidents and problems for him was tyres. Raid at a five. And he says who doesn't like as your circuit? His expectations, he wants points. Uh, he wants some points at Monaco. So he's Sandwalk three. Uh, he thought round four was a tail of two halves, really. So he disconnected from the sprint race, and then he smashed it with his first podium, bringing it home in the third place. Um, and he's probably said, going, pa- going past a back marker during race two, that was an issue for him. He rated the race at ten, though, so fantastic stuff. And he likes the idea of Monaco, however his execution may be another story. His expectations for round five were was to have a good clean race one and two. Uh, let's just see where he ends up. He, he'll be happy with a, a top ten result. Boy Raxo, on the other hand, he said it was a s- successful night. Good battle with uh, AMH for the win in race number two. Was he winning race one anyway? Um, and the instance of problems he faced was mostly just lapping a, uh, a car. Um, just trying to be more aware of the cars around him, picking suitable places to let cars passed. He rated the overall night a 9. Um, he said, as you're as a fun track and qualifying, difficult during a race. See not many places to make a clean pass and drivers will get impatient which may cause crashes or pileups. But he's hoping to survive and be on the podium at Azure. And finally Yorkshire Stig. He said that round 4 wasn't too bad. Didn't have any incidences which is good. Rated it a 6. He says, as your circuit, he loves spectating the races, but to drive would be a different story. So uh, it could be an interesting one, and he's hoping not to make any love with the barriers. But that's all I've got time for now. Join us on Friday night for the Azure Coast, uh, I guess the Azure Circuit for round number five of the Ginetta Juniors here at the Next Gen. From me and the rest of the guys, thank you for listening in and enjoy the rest of your day.